Yo guys, yo, 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 we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, man. Best, so, so this is one of the questions that you guys asked for our Twitter. Top 10 TV shows. Top 10 TV shows. So you have your list. I've got, I've got my list. How hard was your list? Um, pretty hard. It was hard? It was, it's hard. This I, is it. I could think of the TV shows, but if just doing them, that was hard. Mm. And actually, put, I mean, putting them, them down. Um, so what we're going to do it is 10, 10, 9, 9. Okay. Yeah, I'm so, sure I forgot some. But. <laughs> So let's go with uh, number 10, man. So what was your number 10? South Park. Oh, wow. South Park. I'll say one thing about South Park. I've never been a big South Park fan, but they did a thing about Indiana Jones mm -hmm. where they said, like, Lucas and Spielberg raped Indiana Jones, yeah. and they actually see them raping <laughs> Indiana Jones. I was like, I see, and that's what it was. It's actually my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. South Park. I, I like that South Park are so out there, but they're very clever with the way they do things. Mm. But they have no limitations. I just like the <laughs> fact that they don't care who you are. They're going to come for you. <laughs> so this one was tricky because it's sort of a hybrid. Mm. So I'm going to put them in. It's Fresh Prince and Moesha. You can't do both. They're two different shows. Uh... <laughs> one or the other, man. Because it didn't have a proper ending, Fresh Prince. Okay. Because Moesha, I, I probably laugh more at Moesha than Fresh Prince because it was cut off. Mm -hmm. Fresh Prince actually had a definitive ending, so I'm going to say Fresh Prince. Although Will Smith, you messed up for what he did to the original Ant mm -hmm. Viv, though, yeah. so screw that because the, the dark skinned Ant yeah, Viv was yeah. also better than light skinned Ant yeah. Viv. Yeah. So yeah, that's our set. So number nine. Number nine. Um, oh, let's get my list. True Detective. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's bound to happen. You've probably got someone there. I'm going to be like, what? I yeah. Hold up. <laughs> True Detective. I think. Both series. Uh, I didn't watch the third one. The, the, the first two, I, I, I think I started watching the third one and I don't know why I didn't finish it. Third one is... Blo no, third, yeah, second third one... one I, I, don't, I, I like the second one. I, I, I didn't like the second one. But the only thing about the second... Well, I'm, I mean, in all of them, there's no happy ending. That's what I liked about the second one. Because you know in these, in these shows, usually there's like a happy ending. It all comes good in the end. I don't want to give it away to anyone who hasn't watched yeah. it. There's no happiness in that. Zero <laughs> happiness. It, it goes against... The, the kind of grain nah, of American TV. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm making an executive decision. Fresh Prince, you get out of there. <laughs> I'm putting True Detective. True Detective. It, because for me, I mean, I'm, cause you, you're always going to forget yeah. one. Because I'm like, because like, basically, Seven is one of my favorite films oh, of all yeah. time. Yeah. True Great Detective film. was, because especially like just Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey. Oh, that first series. It yeah. was so good. Brilliant. It was so Brilliantly good. acted, brilliantly shot. Everything about it. Ah, damn. No, it's a true is in the sentence. I don't care yeah. what it says. Okay, and um, number nine, I, I went with Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, I was never, I'm, I'm not a big sci fi guy. I'm a huge sci fi guy. <laughs> I am like, sci fi is my, is my, is my bag, yeah. man. And it's like, basically, if you're into sci fi and stuff, it yeah. is freaking amazing. Because basically, even if you're not into sci fi, it makes it very gritty. Yeah. So it's very I've, real I've, I've and heard. it's very down to earth. So it's not like yeah. spaceship, it's, it's like character driven. Yeah. And there's just something very edgy about it. So, so it's really, it's a different kind of sci-fi. It basically turns it on its head, so it's really good. Um, so your number eight. Number eight, Penny Dreadful. I don't know if you ever watched that. I've heard about it. Is that Ava Green? Um, oh, okay, okay. Timothy Dalton. Who else is in that? Josh Hartnett. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I just, it was it was a play on the old all the old like horror tales. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, uh, What's the guy who never got old in the painting? I can't remember the name of the guy. But it was all these tales in old Victorian London. Mm. All these characters were real. Is that, no, is it, no, it's not Dorian Werewolves. Gray, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Dorian Gray. Yeah. Dorian Gray, okay. Yeah, I thought it was just really well done. Uh, it was a really enjoyable show. And Eva Green, I think, is brilliant. She's a brilliant actress. Oh, oh no, 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 she's good. She's good. Mm. She's, she's bloody good. Um, my number eight, because yeah, I've, I've, mm. I've seen it advertised, but I've not actually watched it. My, my number eight is Boardwalk Empire. Yeah, see, I never watched that. Never watched it. So many um, shows I've missed. Very good mm. show, um, with one of the best endings. Yeah. To a show out there. Very... Oh, I've just thought of one that I missed, because Stephen Graham's in that. And um, yeah, yeah, there's another show that. Oh, okay. I missed, but yeah, you know, no, 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 the reason why I didn't put Simpsons in is because if we're looking at, you have to look at the whole pie. Yeah. 
Yeah, because it's, it's been rubbish. For yeah, like 10 oh years. yeah, because if, if you stopped at seven or eight, mm. it's top four, yeah. top top four. If you stopped at seven or eight, but because it's been so bad in the last few, I'm like, mm. but still, Peak Simpsons was different. Yeah. Peak yeah. Simpsons was was different gravy. Um, seven, Narcos Mexico. Again, not seen that. <laughs> wait, wait, you have Netflix. I've got Netflix, yeah. Bro, yeah. Narcos. Net. So now, maybe, and also, you don't need to watch Narcos. See, yeah. I started Narcos, then went out. Narcos in Mexico is bloody good. Yeah. It is so good. So yeah, Narcos in Mexico, like, the act, because basically it's like Spanish for sub, sub, sub yeah. titles, but the story is so good. The story is so good. Um, Six. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Ah! I got Fresh Prince in there as well. That, that was just a cultural phenomenon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. There wasn't any. I think was that like the first mainstream black Cosby sitcom? Show. Oh, yeah, Cosby Show. Cosby Show, yeah. yeah not like, 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 Cosby, Cosby Show was the yeah, really, really yeah. big one, yeah. No, no, no. But like, that's what made Will Smith Will, Will yeah. Smith. I remember he was a, a rapper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know what's what's so funny that like they said that um, because he was so nervous about doing the film, he used to mouth other people's lines. <laughs> so as they were saying, he basically mouthed yeah. their lines because he, he lent the entire script yeah. of everyone. So, <laughs> um, my number six is Star Trek. Original series. Yeah, so you're not a sci-fi guy. Ah, no, that's no, my no, bag, no, man. Right. Captain Kirk. Not a Kirk. big fan of Star Wars. Ah, uh, really. Star Trek. Nah, man. Don't really do it for me. My, this is for, for my sci-fi homies, man. He doesn't like so this is for my sci-fi yeah. homies, man. Star Trek. No, yeah. um, Captain Kirk, that freaking dude, man. Kirk is that <laughs> freaking dude. Now we're going to up five. Yeah. You know, number five. Number five. Line of Duty. <sighs> is of that Duty, um, BBC what's, police drama? What's, what's, what's the name of the guy? He was in Snatch. Stephen Graham was in this as well, and uh, Lenny James. Lenny James, yeah, Lenny yeah, James yeah. James in the first series. Stephen Graham was in the fourth series. If I'm oh, okay. Right. Tandy Newton was in it, um, but these guys aren't the stars. They're like they are in each series. They have a big name. Oh, okay. But the stars are not. Oh, okay, but okay. It, it's an extremely clever BBC. Oh, what's like the, the general plot? So these guys, the it's an anti-corruption um, division of the police. Oh, okay. So they are basically investigating corrupt policemen. Hmm. And it's just this big spiraling web of corruption that they're trying to fight each series. Yeah. And it, it's it's brutal. There's twists that you just wouldn't expect. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a really well done, really thought out um, just drama, I suppose, thriller. Wow. But you watch it, you know those those programs you watch and you're like, why am I sitting on the edge of my seat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why yeah, am I yeah. tense? <laughs> Wait, so, so was that your number six or number, number five? five. So, all right. So my number five is The Office. But mm. the UK version. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that. You've never watched never Office? Never watched Office. Oh <laughs> my. Never watched it. It is. Bro, it. Basically, you think, like, Ricky Gervais, he's basically made his career off this yeah. dude, David Brent. Like, the US. And don't watch the US David version. Brent as well. Yeah. Everyone knows it, David. Like, if I tell you how hilarious. And also, it was only two, two seasons, mm. Christmas special, out. So they didn't overstay their welcome. Like, the first of all it's very well done because it's based off of this other uk show called operation good guys which is the same kind of like mockumentary thing but the character of david brent he's literally one of the best well-realized comedy characters of all time Mm. like it's like basically because it is it's probably one of my most rewatched series where i I just watched it again and the thing is some of the episodes will you will literally be on the floor laughing (laughs) you'll be on the floor laughing all right we're now in so are number four. Yeah. So what's your number four? Friends. Uh, I was never a big Friends guy. Massive Friends. My guy. sister was obsessed with, yeah. with Friends. Brilliant. But I was never a, a, a big Friends guy. Just the way they all bounce off each other, the dynamic between each character. Mm. Um, great writing though. Like what's, what's, what's yeah. I think my, my brother said like, whether you like it or not, the fact that this takes place in two locations, yeah. maybe three, both of the apartments and the cafe, yeah. and they can get so many stories in three locations, yeah. that's great writing. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of it was uh, David Schwimmer. Oh, he, oh, he, he did he write. wrote a lot of, of friends. Like, at first, it was mainly him who was writing most of it. Yeah. And then they all started writing their friends, oh, okay. and that's when it kind of got a bit... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, David Schwimmer is a very talented guy. And so, that, that was a brilliant show. Favourite character? Ross. I think Ross, I think, throughout his growth throughout the series, yeah. he had ma- many different... That's David uh, Schwimmer's character. Yeah. yeah. And he probably wrote the best bits for himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. found him hilarious. <laughs> All right, my number four is Snowfall. A show that I think that yeah. you should watch. Like, it's basically, because obviously it's about um, how drugs came into America mm-hmm. and how the CIA were basically involved in, the, in putting drugs in so the neighborhoods in America in the 80s. So it just goes from the 80s and so forth. And 
the directing is superb, the writing is superb, the acting is amazing. Like Dame's, like all the actors are amazing, but Dame's, the interest in this is just freaking incredible because he's a UK guy doing a very particular South Central accent and he just nails it completely. So that is freaking amazing. So yeah, Snowfall, that's my number four.